Hi boys and girls, today's lesson we're gonna do the I can statement, things that we could do. We're gonna review the letter I for book activity. We are going to read ABC Animal Jamboree. For our art activity, we're going to be making an ice cream cone and an insect with the letter I. For a movement activity, we are going to be marching around the alphabet. And you're gonna tell me what letter you chose. For the learning activity, we are going to be matching uppercase and lowercase letters, so we're gonna have to find them. For our song, we're gonna sing the ABC song. Are you ready to have some fun? Let's go. Hello boys and girls, today's lesson is about I can. Now, I can is a statement meaning that things that you could do. Like for example, for me, my I can statement is I can tie my shoes. I can read a story. I can draw a picture. Those are things that I could do, okay? There's some things that I need practice with, but I continue working on it to get better. So I do failure leads to success. Remember that, right? Failure leads to success. I am not going to say, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do that. No, never. Always say, I can. I can do this. With a little practice, I know I could do it. Now with the I can statement, today we are going to say I can recognize the letters in the alphabet. And I can say the letter sounds of the alphabet. I know that you could do it, boys and girls, so let's practice, okay? Bye. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready? We're gonna be writing the letter I. Let's go. Let me open up my dry erase marker. We're gonna use our whiteboard here. Now remember, with the letter I, we're gonna start top to bottom. Always. Here we go. Capital I, top to bottom, across and across. Capital I, lowercase i, we're gonna start in the middle. Not so much on top, in the middle, top to bottom and a dot, that is the letter I. I hope you're practicing this at home, okay? Bye. Hi boys and girls, are you ready for story time? I know I am. We're ready to read the ABC Animal Jamboree. Are you ready? They're gonna tell us all the letters in the alphabet and say an animal for each letter. Are you ready? Just making sure that you could see it. Here we go. A, angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Oh goodness, look how pretty she looks. Look at those lips. Letter B, boa constrictor. The boa constrictor's a slippery snake who squashes then swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. Look at this boa constrictor, look at this. It's long. I guess he swallowed something because it's really big right here. Look at that. Letter C, crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can resist chomping a few. He's hungry, he's gonna eat them. Look at that big mouth here. Ooh, look at his eyebrows. He's ready. Look at the frog, poor frog. Letter D, dolphin. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how do you do, as I'd say to you. It's more of a click, whistle, squeak. They do, they make those sounds. Look at the star on top of the dolphin. Oh, how cute. Letter E. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elephant around. Now the E took the whole page. Look at this big elephant. I love the purple. <clears throat> F, frog. We may be green and slimy, but I'm sure that you'll agree. We're really great at hopping. Can you hop as high as me? I don't know if I can. Can you? Maybe you can. Letter G. Giraffe. Some animals laugh 
at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheeks getting kissed by a cloud. Now, they have long necks. They're, they're very long, so I think maybe they'll be able to touch a cloud. And the cloud will give him a little kiss on the cheek. H, hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I moosh in the mud. Which hippos like doing a lot? They do, they love mud. I, iguana. We are both green iguanas. Our bodies are covered with scales. We've also got really cool spines down our backs that run to the ends of our tails. Now look at these iguanas. So it goes from our heads to our tails. This is their spine. Look at their tongues. <laughs> J, jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish thinks is quite silly. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling's lots of good fun. I like to jiggle. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Look, beautiful jellyfish. I love it. K, kangaroo. <clears throat> I'm the bouncy kangaroo. Pleased to meet you. Hi, do you do? And who's inside my pouch? That's right. It's baby Joey holding tight. Now, baby kangaroo is called a Joey, and it stays inside the mommy's pouch. Love it. L, lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Look, that's a big mouth. Boom. Everyone gets really scared. I would be scared too. M, monkey. It's great to be a monkey swinging through the trees, and if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. They like to search for each other's fleas in their, in their hairs. <laughs> and narwhal. The narwhal has a horn-like tusk, and so he seems to be the ocean swimming unicorn, a marvel of the sea. Oh, so he's considered like a unicorn in the sea. Look, because it has a tusk. That's cute. I've never seen one. Oh, octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me hold my, all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Oh, so she tickles them with all those eight legs. P, penguin. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. Penguins love to swim. They're really great swimmers. Q, Quetzal. My tail feathers shimmer in glorious green and look at my splendid red chest. Of all the most beautiful birds that you've seen, you must admit I am the best. R, Rhinoceros. A ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Look at that, he is happy, look at that smile. Rhinoceros are big. S, shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Not me. That, has a big, that shark has a big mouth and sharp teeth. Mm -mm. T, tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when it's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear yes they like to sneak up on you they like to hide you umbrella bird my head has a crest of black feathers so when i look up at the sky and see that it's raining instead of complaining i just spread them out and keep dry so his feathers help him keep himself dry but look at this bird here not happy v vulture See me soaring gracefully across the clear blue sky, looking out for tasty treats that catch my deadly eye. They like to eat things that are dead vultures, but they look very happy. W, whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to his tip of his tail. Whales are huge, guys. They're very big. I've never seen a real one, but I've seen it on TV. X, X 
straight fish. We like to swim around in shoals and any food will do us. Oh yes, we're called the x-ray fish as you can see right through us. Yes, look, you can see their bones. <laughs> cool. Why yak? We live up in the mountains where the land is cold and bare. So to keep us warm and cozy, we grow thick, long, shaggy hair. Look at the yak. You know when I go tell you guys, yakety yak, don't talk back. Look at that. Those are the yaks. Z. Zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule. But instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes since they make me look handsome and cool. You like that? that is, this was a great story, boys and girls. I loved it. Did you have a good time? I had a great time learning about all these letters and they named animals. Thank you for listening to me today, boys and girls. Bye. Okay, boys and girls, for today's art lesson, we're going to be decorating the letter I. We're going to be decorating the capital I and the lowercase I. And you know why I want to do that? It's because I has two sounds. The first sound is I. The second sound is I. So we want to make two different things that begin with those sounds. Are you ready? Let's look over here. Now, these are the items you need from your um, supply bag. You will need the, a paper that has the two eyes on it. We're also going to get paper that has two different colors. They're two squares. Two different colors. I have these colors. Then you're going to get the one that has the black strip. You're going to have glue, markers, and scissors. Are you ready now? Now, I want to start with the capital I. I want to make an insect. So the sound is I, insect. So what we're going to do, first I am going to take these two apart. Put that one to the side, keep my capital I. Let's cut the capital I run. Remember, follow the line. Take your time. This is a great fine motor skill for you to practice with your scissor skills. And I know you already know how to cut with scissors, but practice makes perfect. Oh, let me continue. Oh, I love the capital I. Look at that. It's a lot of curves on it. We're gonna cut down. And this sound is for the sound I. Insect. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna turn that into an insect. Now, this circle is going to be the head for the insect. Here we go, let me cut around. Oh, I love this. See how I'm turning the paper? Here we go, there we go. Put this to the side, my scrap. And here we go. I am going to glue my head on the top. Now remember, insects have a head, of course, and six legs. Let's go right here, that's the head. I should get, I think I'm gonna get orange this time. To put the eyes, and the nose, and the mouth. Oh, look at that, I love it. Now we're gonna put three legs on one side and three legs on the other. Uh oh, I don't have no lines here. How am I gonna do this? Oh, I'll try my best. I just cut strips. One, two, and three. Ooh, I like that. So three legs on one side. So one dot there, there, there. Now you put the legs however you want. They could be close together. They could be apart. Ooh, I like that. Now three. Oh, wait. I first need to cut the other three. One, two, three. Ooh, okay, here we go. He goes more glue, glue, glue. Uh-oh, insect, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. And then, so we have three on each side. So three plus three equals what? You want to count? Let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Equals six. Three plus three equals six. And this is my fun insect. But you know what I should have done with my insect? Should have colored it. I could color it. Yeah, make it pretty. Yeah, look at this. Oh, you like my pink bug? I like it. Making it fun. What do you think, guys? I love it. So this is my capital I, and the sound for this word is I, insect. Now let's put this to the side. Now remember, have mom and dad take a picture of it. Let me put my 
insect to the side, you like it. Here we go. Now we need the lowercase i. Are you ready? Guess what we're gonna make with this one. Now the sound is i. I love what I'm gonna make right now. Ice cream. Are you ready? Here we go. So we're gonna cut this out. We still need our scissors. Oh, cutting, cutting, cutting. Oh, it's a rectangle. And then the little dot for the top. Cause the I, the lowercase I has a dot. Right? Let's see right here. Put this to the side. The eye goes on top. Now, this is where you're gonna use your colors, okay? Ooh, we have to make ice cream scoops. How in the world? Ooh, I know what to do. I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna try my best to make ice cream scoops to put it on top. Ooh, ice cream scoops right there. One ice cream scoop. Ooh, oh, I have two of them. Maybe I can make four ice cream scoops on my ice cream. Oh, I love ice cream, boys and girls. Mine, I love strawberry with whipped cream. Mm. Yes. Oh, I can make maybe an A, B, A, B pattern with this. Look at my ice cream. That is so big. But first, I want to color this one my ice cream cone. I should color my ice cream cone. I want to do it purple. Oh, you could use crayons too, boys and girls, okay? I think crayons would be the best thing for this activity. But I want my ice cream cone to be purple. And here we go. I'm going to glue down my ice cream scoops. Here we go. Pink. Purple. Pink. And purple, because I only have four scoops here. So we got this. Oh, I forgot my cherry on top. I will need red. Hmm. I wonder how can I do this to get red on this one. Miss Amato? Sure. What do you need, Miss Figueroa? Can you please get me a red marker? I think I can get you one. Thank you. Oh, I wasn't ready for that one, because I was so excited about making the ice cream. Cone and the scoops. I am so excited. Oh, thanks, Miss Amato. There you go. Here we go. Now I'm gonna color this one on top because that's the cherry. Now, can I tell you the truth, boys and girls? Miss Figaro doesn't like the cherry, but it looks so cute on top. Now, I do eat cherries when they're in the store in the fruit section, but when they're in a jar, Miss Figaro doesn't like cherries. I don't know why, but it looks cute. Look. That's my ice cream cone with four scoops. One, two, three, four. Love it. Now let's see what you guys could do, okay? Now remember, after you finish, have mom and dad take a picture of it and put it on Schoology, okay, boys and girls? Bye. Hi, boys and girls. For today's activity, we're going to be matching letters, capital letters and lowercase letters. Now I have two groups here. Now let's start with this group here because I'm going to use the... Um, dry erase marker for this one. Now, the capital letters are on this side and the lowercase letters are on the other side. Now, before you start uh, matching the letters, I want you to say each letter's name. So let's start. L, D, Q, R, G. Those are the capital letters. Let's go to the lowercase letters. D, R, L, G, Q. Now you're going to have a little idea of where each one is at and how to match them. Are you ready? Let's start with the first one. L. Huh. So we have to look on this side to see which one is L. Do you see it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So now we're going to match. Dot to dot. So we're going to start with the capital L. Go to the lowercase L. You got it? Okay, let's go to the next one. D. Hmm, which one is D? Do you see it? I don't, oh, there it is, D. Match it, dot to dot. You like that? Okay, here we go. Q, 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 Q. Oh, I see it right there. We're gonna match it. Let's go with the next one, the letter R. R, oh, right here, dot to dot. We're matching capital letters with lowercase letters. Okay, 
Now the G. Now we know that which one is G because it doesn't have a line, but we still have to recognize it that they match. Ready? And we match our first group. Do you like it? Now, you could do this at home. Remember that. Let's go to the next one. Now the next one, I don't need a dry erase marker because what I did was I put some yarn on it. So we're going to tape the yarn to each letter. So we have the capital letters and we have the lowercase letters. Hmm. Let's see if we could call Miss Amato here. Maybe she could do it. I don't know. Miss Amato? Yeah. Now we're playing a game here and it's matching the capital letters with the lowercase <laughs> letters. Okay. Do you think you could do two of these? Ooh, I could try. try. Now, can I just tell them the letters first? Because sure. they're going to say it with me. Okay, let's start with the capital letters. H, E, B, N, T. Capital letters. Now let's go to lowercase letters. B, N, H, T, E. Okay, Miss Amara, are you ready? Now let me explain to you. We have yarn. Ooh, so cool. each one has yarn. So you have to go and match it to your lowercase letter. Okay? okay. And we have tape there and you just tape it there. Okay, okay. you just want me to do two? Yes, I'll do just the top two. two. Okay. Whatever you think. So I'm going to step see. out. And you may go in, Miss Amato. Okay. Oh, oh. That Good was thinking. Tricky. You were thinking. Yes. Good job. Okay. And Okay. Letter. So what letter did you do? H. H. Okay. Letter H. Okay. And which other oh, letter? Let's do E. E. Do okay. E. Now you have well, to I match see it e. to the You I see it? I see it. Okay. All right. Good Yay. job, Miss Amato. So you match the letter H to the lowercase h, the letter E to the lowercase e. Good job. Hey, good. I am so proud of you. That was Amato. really fun. Now I'm gonna do the letter B. Hmm. B. Okay. I see it. It's right here, boys and girls. Let's go match it. Putting the yarn there. Oh, oh, no way. Come on, buddy. Let's go. It's right here. Didn't want to go there. There you go, B with B. Okay, letter. What letter is this? N. N. Oh, I forgot. I, I forgot. I haven't been practicing this amount. Oh, N. So we have N, N, T, N, right here. Right here, N. And then we have the letter T. Now, Miss Amato, the song you want, T, it's right here. We got it. Yep. We got it. We did it. We did it. Good job, Miss Figueroa. Let me just put it here. Oh, put a tape on it. Oh, here we go. Come on, boy. This is not working for me. Let me get a little, an extra piece. And we got it. Yay! Yes! So now, boys and girls, you can play this game at home. You could do it with markers on a piece of paper. And then you could do it with yarn. You could do this on the floor. And you could even write your own letters. Have mom and dad match the capital or lowercase letters, okay? See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, we're back. We're going to be playing Marching Around the Alphabet. Now, I know that at home you don't have these kind of letters. But you can make your own. Get, a, get paper. Write the letters on each piece of paper, then spread them out on the floor, and then you can play this marching around the alphabet. Are you ready, Miss Amato? I'm ready. Can you start, Miss Amato? Can you, you press it. play? So remember, you can make your own letters on a piece of paper. Uh-oh, let's go marching. We're marching around the alphabet, around the alphabet. We're passing letters from A, B, C, all the way to X, Y, Z. We're marching around the alphabet, around the alphabet. Where we stop, nobody knows until the whistle blows. Uh oh, Mr. Mata! Woo! Now and down the way you are, pick the letter that's near your toes. When the teacher points to you, tell the teacher which letter you chose. Tell the teacher which letter you chose. Mr. Mata, what letter did you choose? I've got letter C. Woo! How about you? I, I got the letter B. What letter did you get? Yeah! Tell your mom and dad! Yes, Miss Amato, you ready to put yep. it down, Miss Amato? Put your we're letter back, back on the ground. Stand up tall and march around. Yeah! We're marching around the alphabet, around the alphabet. We're passing letters from A, T, C, all the way to X, Y, Z. We're marching around the alphabet, around the alphabet. When we 
we start, nobody knows until the whistle blows. Uh-oh! Oh, now bend down by where you are, pick the letter that's near your toes. When the teacher points to you, tell the teacher which letter you chose. Tell the teacher which letter you chose. I got the letter O! I got the letter O! What did you get? Tell your family! Put your letter back on the ground. Stand up tall and march around. Ready, marching. We're Make marching march backwards, Mr. Model. Oh. Oh. We're passing I don't want to step on the letters, but woo. To X, y, Z. We're marching around the alphabet, around the alphabet. Where we stop, nobody knows until the whistle blows. Uh oh, one more time. Ah. Now bend down the way you are, pick the letter that's near your toes. When the teacher points to you, tell the teacher which letter you chose. Tell the teacher which letter you chose. Letter H, letter T, which one did you get? Uh-oh, everybody's telling the letter. I know. Woo! Good job, guys. I love these letters. The alphabet. Put your letter back on the ground, stand up tall and march around. How about sideways? We're marching around the Uh oh, it's about I'm sorry. The <laughs> there we go. Baby, see on the way to XYZ. You did it! Yay. You can play it again at home, okay, guys? Bye! Bye! Okay, boys and girls, today for a song, I wanted to sing the ABC song with you. But I need your help because I know how to sing the song, but I would like to hear you guys sing the song with me. Are you ready for that? Now, the ABC song, we can't go really fast. We need to take our time saying it, so we'll say each letter of the alphabet, okay? Here we go. Let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? You guys did awesome. Thank you for helping with the ABC song. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. We had such a good time today. We learned about the I can't statement. Things that you can do and makes you feel good. We reviewed the letter I. Remember, top to bottom, capital and lowercase. We read the book ABC Animal Jamboree. I love how they mentioned all the letters and they showed a picture of each animal that starts with that letter. That was a cool book. For our art activity, we did for capital I an insect. And for the lowercase I, we did an ice cream cone. Mmm, yummy, yummy. For our learning activity, we match uppercase and lowercase letters. And we did it two different ways, but at home you could do it however you want. For our movement activity, we did marching around the alphabet. And every time you chose a letter, you said the name of the letter. That was cool. Continue playing that at home. Now for our song, we did our ABC song. The A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I know that you know that song. Thank you, boys and girls, and I'll see you later, okay? Bye.